It's a little puff here. Decided to somehow jump into the filter system. He probably either got sucked in through the bat through there or he jumped in. I don't know which yet. But um I when I woke up I didn't see him. At first I thought he jumped, looked over there, couldn't find him. And then I looked then I, then I opened up the filter, moved the filter and her little splash, and then a second later I saw a little little puff in the in the tank again. So yeah. Apparently he likes jumping in the filters. I don't see any body damage to him or anything, so I don't know if he actually did get sucked in there or not. But there is a grate there, so I don't know. <clears throat> but that's not what this video is about. This video is about this tank here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these four, put them into the 10 gallon, drain this tank, clean it, and get it prepped for my figure 8 puffer that I'm going to be getting. And of course, I'm going to be popping in with a, a little short video, with a little short, little, little short tidbits of what I'm doing. I may do time lapse. I'm not sure if I do a time lapse. It'll be on my, it'll be through my iPhone since I can do that separate. But yeah. All right, pulled the fish. Then now they're in the two and a half, currently acclimating. Take that back. They're not. They escaped. Jeez, I go to grab my Viku, start a video, and I see the Ari escaped. Well, it's not the first time they've done this, and it won't be the last. <sighs> okay. Well, at least my father's going like this for a while since they're going to be out here and he'll be able to watch them. I may just convert this tank into an RB goldfish tank just for him. And my cat likes looking outside. Don't you, Liz? Oh, so he's doing just fine. I got proper meds for him yesterday. His fit in the little fungus and whatnot seems to be going away. <clears throat> And of course, this is what I'm using. All right, small little update. There is there is a little puff. As you can tell, I took the two shells that were in this tank, and I put them in here. I don't know if he's gonna pick them at pick at them or not, but I want to have them in there because it makes it look a little more interesting, at least for me, at least. And as you can tell, I just got done draining the tank. There's a little bit of water. I'm going to put all this gravel in a, black, in a white trash bag for use on sponge filters and whatnot. Do a complete take clean up. Uh, clean up the filter since it, actually the filter looks fairly clean. I'm just going to wipe it down, replace the carbon, whatnot. So I'll come back when I see fit. Alright, got the tank uh, more or less cleaned out. There's nothing I can do about the blue staining as because of the... Uh, Algae killer I had in the tank years ago, about six about months ago. But yeah, it takes more or less clean. There's some smudging one that I can't get off, but um, they'll come off when I uh, fill it back up with water. So now I'm just going to uh, prep the stain and put it in there. And here's the substrate. I'm going to start uh, doing the cleaning process and dumping it into the tank. Which I'm actually going to place the tank over here for more ease of use. So, put that there, put that there, this here, and move the tank. I really do need to get myself a uh, little thing so I can hold my i7. So, I got the tank, uh, I got the new tank sub bottom in, although I am sitting down now because I'm very out of shape. So I'm going to take a small 30 minute break or so, watch some YouTube videos, and then get back to building this, and getting back to putting this little sucker together. Alright, so I'm a little OCD about, this, about these things being level to an extent. Like for instance, this tank here, I know the wire line isn't exactly level, but it's, by, by it's off by so, much, by so little, it doesn't uh, bother me. 
But when I had this tank originally set up, basically, basically this side of the tank will be will fill up all the way, and then practically this side will be the water will be down to like about here when it's fully filled up. So I decided to put some little shivs here, and as you can tell, there's a small little beat. There's a small little uh, basically you can say nook that I can put stuff into uh, help spread the load, but um. Basically, all I want to know is, will this is this safety is this safe because it's a uh, 10 gallon tank, or should I put some extra little shivs in between here to help to help distribute the weight and whatnot? And of course, to uh, level the thing, I went back to when iPhones first came out and the uh, and the stupid little uh, and the uh, little uh, and everyone was freaking out about the. Uh, Gyroscope in this thing and whatnot. So I ended up pulling, downloading the one of the little leveler apps, and it's practically level. Granted, it's a little off, but I'm okay with it being off by this much. And the level doesn't really seem to be 100% accurate. So now I did this prior in the past when this tank was had betas in it without, and I didn't have any problems. But since I know more about about these tanks, I want to make sure that before I completely fill this thing up, that this is safe to use, or if I should put a few more little shivs here to help with the uh, weight distribution. Since my spelling skills are horrible, I'm just going to make a quick video uh, uh, comment. I'm just going to shiv around. Normally, I would just go and actually just make it level it myself, but since what I'm using isn't really levelable, and I have a nice thick sheet of uh, I guess you can say plywood if I can well it's plywood more or less and it's a big thick sheet so I have this over the original piece of wood right here to help support both tanks I do want to uh, re I do want to replace these things with something that's a little more sufficient for holding two tanks a three gallon and a ten gallon but um, I'm going to shiv it or I'm, going to sh I'm just going to shiv I'm, going to I'm just going to put shivs around and whatnot and and I'm going to be monitoring everything. So I really do need to put another piece of wood right here. That way so I can put more reinforcement bars like this. Down here because this thing is just a cheap piece of like thin wood right here. It's amazing. It's been amazing. It's held up for nearly a year already. Alright, so these little beta cup sponge filters. I've been building them now for a long time. I have one at least in every single tank I own. And and they work great. The only thing that sucks about these things is that when I went to build them the first time around is that I've learned that um, removing the filter fiber and the activated carbon is a massive pain in the butt. And you can tell by all this little black stuff right here, that's, a, that's activated carbon that I couldn't get out. So I thought, okay, I'm going to make life a little bit more easier on me and I'm going to put it and I'm going to do a beta test. So what I did is I built another grate. This little grate right here will go in between the will be will go in between the rocks that act as ben, for the beneficial bacteria and the filter fiber and whatnot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to string is I'm going to put string throughout, make and put like points on it so I can easy for when I go to replace it, I just pull it out. It makes life a lot more easier on me. Alright, so I moved to my room since my parents are going to go sleep soon. That way so I can make a lot more noise and actually make it to where you guys can hear me. So, this is, so this right here is the basic premise of, of the design. It's just a simple little grate, like the little grates I've built on my uh, filters in the past. The reason why I don't have any air is because I've disconnected the air, air line so I can reroute some reroutes on the air. And because I'm getting this tank... Uh, uh, set up a fair. So basically, what happens is that the is that the PVC pipe is in the middle. You stick then you stick this at the top right there, and of course you basically string out the strings to the uh, to the edge of the cups and whatnot. You fill the thing with filter fiber and all the, and all that stuff, filter fiber, carbon, and whatnot, and then you just stick it in there. You let it sit for however you want it to let it sit. And then when you go to open it up, where all you simply do is you just pop off the uh, 
little bracer for the main uh, piece. Pop this off. Grab by all four strings. Give me a second. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Grab by all four strings, and you can just easily pop out the actual carbon fiber and everything else. So, though so I just done a slight bit of modification to my uh, standard sponge filter and made it a lot more easier to uh, do maintenance in. All right, and with that, the uh, tank is now set up again. It took a lot more longer than I was hoping for, practically the whole day, but mainly because I was lazing around for the most part. I could have gotten this thing done in about three hours, but I got very lazy, so yeah. But with that said, the modified sponge filters are in, the uh, the uh, substrate's on, now I'm just letting the tank just air out all the air that's trapped underneath the, uh, underneath the uh, sand and whatnot. I'm letting all the beneficial, beneficial bacteria respawn. Or regenerate and whatnot. Granted, I saw beneficial bacteria on these filters, so there'll be so there's probably going to end up being a small micro bloom of uh, of uh, beneficial bacteria again. But overall, I am technically restarting it, and I'm not. But this tank is now all set up and ready to roll for uh, my new pufferfish. Now, if I can just build, now if I can just figure out how I want to theme this tank. Oh yeah, and I forgot to also give an update on the puffers. Since my mother and father, I mean not puffers, but uh, my goldfish. Since my mother and father are currently asleep, I am going to pause the video, turn on the tank, and come back. I will not be able to speak or anything like that since the goldfish are out there, but I want to show how they're doing. And as you can tell, the goldfish are doing fine. If you're wondering why my black telescope is acting the way he was acting, it's because the light was turned off and he was asleep, more or less. And I turned the light back on and he's like, oh man, what's going on? And he get up again? Uh. But yeah, everything's doing just fine. Mr. Puffer hasn't gone into the filter since. Hopefully he won't do that again. I'm pretty sure he won't since pufferfish are incredibly intelligent. And I think in the next day or two, I'm going to feed him his first snail. And of course, I got to put all these poppus plants back into this tank here. But I think I'll keep them in there for. Okay, I think I'll keep them in this tank for a few days to get them something to hang out in and whatnot. Then I'll probably just end up cutting some holes here for some actual poppus plants too. Well, actually, main thing, main reason why I haven't added any more poppus plants in my tanks is because the poppus plant I got is taking a long time to regenerate. Because I practically gutted that whole thing for all the poppets you see in, my, in all these tanks. And the angels in this tank, I also want to give, give a small little talk about these guys. <clears throat> I love these guys and I want to keep them, but I'm having way too much aggression. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up giving away all, giving away all of them except my marble. Because if I'm keeping because if I'm keeping an angel fish, it's going to be this marble. And yes, I have a betta. Even though I have a betta in this tank, he leaves everyone alone, and he knows who and who not to mess with. And he has that little tube to hang out in, and everyone else just leaves him alone. So it's a very unorthodox tank, and yet it works, at least for right now. I am monitoring this tank on a daily basis. But I haven't seen any aggression from Mr. Beta or the Angels to and from. They they all respect each other, which is really nice. But with that, I don't know what my next video is gonna be on my fish. I think I might take a few days off, I don't know. I'll just I just post videos when I see fit. 